um, politicians in charge of our electric grid, people who have no experience whatsoever are going to make decisions for all of us. They're going to hire a for-profit mm -hmm. company, a third party, to come in and run the business uh, day to day if they can furlough state troopers when they don't have the money. You don't think they can furlough line workers? And what effect will that have? When you think of this past, last part of last year into January, and you think of the storm that we faced unexpectedly, and you think of the two companies, how they responded, you had 3,000 workers between the two companies out there addressing 330,000 people without power in three days. What does that say? It says if you're going to have a utility that you depend upon for the service that's so vital in terms of electricity and power and that type of thing, you want people with skill, you want people with knowledge, you want people with experience, you don't want people that need to be tried and tested, you want people who are already there in the game and know what they're doing. And that's what we have today in Ferson and Central Maine Power. And that's what we need to keep.